So today we are going to talk about why you should never feed your dog dentist steaks or any dental chew that isn't 100% meat or 100% natural. Now these are extremely popular because periodontal disease is extremely common nowadays. Why is it extremely common? Well, the simple explanation is that your dog or cat do not secrete something called amylase. They do not produce amylase, which is the enzyme in the mouth that breaks down carbohydrates, that breaks down starches. Now, most commercial pet foods and most commercial treats these days are filled with carbohydrates. These carbohydrates accumulate in terms of bacteria in your dog and cat's mouth and that's where the periodontal disease starts so the first thing i would recommend is for you to feed a low carbohydrate diet the second thing i would recommend is for you to read the ingredients for everything you give the dog including dental sticks now why don't i like why don't we like dental sticks well if you take one of these and you turn them over, you will see cereals, you will see meat and animal derivatives, and you will see derivatives of vegetable origin. Now, cereals, meat and animal derivatives, those do not seem, they do not appear like very good ingredients, and they are not. They are detrimental to your dog's health, so do not feed them. What are the alternative chews you can feed your dog? that are natural. Well, you could feed the dog raw meaty bones. You have things like antlers. You have things like horns. You have things like yak chews. You have things like natural treats, things like buffalo skin or wild boar skin or anything which is bone that will not splinter. Now, dentist steaks are huge. Why are they so popular? Because they are massified and they are deemed to be a safe and helpful treat for your dog's health and for your dog's mouth. Now, nothing could be further from the truth. Cereals, meat and animal derivatives, derivatives of vegetable origin. Those ingredients are not very good at all for your dog. If you want to tackle periodontal disease, you need to check that everything you are giving the dog has as few carbohydrates as possible. That's how you will reduce the amount of plaque, the amount of tartar that your dog is picking up in the mouth. So check carbohydrates. Do not give dental steaks. Always choose natural ingredients and natural chews.